Hi there guys, Ralph here with 4K Equipment, and today I have a Ferro Orbis Premium Laser Scanner uh, overview for you here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over everything that comes in the kit, and then also uh, just actually do a quick scan for you. I'll end up sharing the screen just so you can see uh, what we have going on on the screen as I talk through it. Um, everything that comes in the kit, we've got our Ferro tablet, uh, basically just has the Ferro software on it. Uh, we've got our monopod, which you can use to stabilize or shoot off of specific points. And then we have the scanner itself, and I'll go ahead and set everything out in front here. We've got our data logger with our battery. We've got our cable to attach that data logger to the scanner itself. And I'll go ahead and set this up uh, off screen, but real quick, uh, I'll just run over quick specs for you. I've got a spec sheet here. Um, so I'll go ahead and put the kit together and then I'll meet you right back here. Alrighty, we've got everything set up and plugged in over here. Uh, I did that by just plugging in the cable. There's little red dots on here so that you line them up, shove the battery on there, and then hit the power button on the data logger. And then there is a power button on the top of the scanner here. Uh, pressed all those, let those run through the startup processes, and they're all running. Uh, here, we'll jump over to the tablet real quick. Um, here is the home page. This is the start your first project page. So we're going to do just that. Top left, we're going to hit that blue button. And we are going to name this test just for demonstration purposes. So now we're looking at the test project. Uh, over here on the top right, another thing to know, this blue icon. You press on that. That's actually how we connect to our Faro devices. Um, you connect via Wi-Fi. So if I scroll here, show our Wi-Fi connection there, um, we're actually already connected, but it would show up under available devices, and then we would just connect via Wi-Fi. Um, so now that we are connected to that, we actually need to have a sheet in the project itself. Um, the software is made to tell you that. So if I tried to went ahead and start scanning here by hitting the, plus, the play button, it's going to tell me sheet selection is required. So there is a little shortcut button here, the structure button. This takes us here to the structure of the project. Uh, here, our test project, if we hit the more options over on the right, right next to the pencil or edit button, we have our sheets button. We click that. Our create new sheets pop up. We can just keep it named sheet for simplicity's sake here. And now everything is done in this sheet. So if I hit back and I hit play, it's actually going to start the startup sequence, the initialization uh, on the screen here. It takes about 15 seconds. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick it up, walk around the room. I'm going to set it right where I picked it up. Um, standard practice is start right where you finish. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then uh, I'll have you follow along here. And I'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to watch me too long. And... Alrighty, just finished hitting the stop scanning button. And what we can see here is the point cloud that it created. And just like that, we just have a scan of this room. Um, there's a bunch of other features available as well. It's taking more, more uh, accurate photos with more points, different things like that. Um, but basically, the way to get this off, uh, there's two main ways. One is the USB on the data logger itself. I'll walk up and show you on the camera here. Uh, there's just a USB connection up here. You can plug in a USB drive and then plug it straight into your computer. Or on your desktop, Pharaoh's desktop software, uh, if you connect via Wi-Fi to the scanner itself, you can actually just upload the, the point clouds off of the scanner. Um, so yeah, so basically that is the entire kit. That is what it's like to scan with it. And yeah, feel free to uh, leave a comment, uh, any questions, anything else you'd like to see. And thanks for watching.